Hi everyone. So you have already studied V2 for some completed actions. That is just without any time reference or with time reference, but for some general actions completed in the past, we use V2. But how do we express actions completed at present? At present, you complete some actions and how you will use that sentence in English. My dear friends, with the help of has and have. Yes, has and have with the verb number 3. When you use this combination, you can narrate an action completed at present. I have some examples on this word. Have informed, has informed, have completed, has completed, have made, has made. So have and has. Where do we have to use? That is clear here. So for I, we, you, they, we use have. I repeat, I, we, you, they, have, he, she, it, or any names, your friends' names, brothers, sisters, or any designations, maybe principal, clerk, minister, officer, anybody. So that is has. So I have, but he has. Now, how you will start using this sentence? For example, Imagine, I will give you some assignment. Now, imagine now it is 11 o'clock in the morning. So, I will give you some assignment. So, I will give you half an hour time to complete the assignment. So, at 11.15, I will ask you whether it is over. You will say, no, still it is not over. We are completing. We are completing. So when I give assignment that is 11 o'clock, you will say, we will do it. We will do it. At 11.15, you will say, we are doing it or we are completing it. And finally, at 11.30, you will raise your hand saying, sir, we have done it. We have completed it. We have finished it. So action started at present and completed at present can be expressed with the help of has and have by taking verb number 3, V3. For this, you should definitely practice column number 3 of the verb chart. Go with gone, gone is V3. Do, did, done, done is V3. Come, came, come, come is V3. Bring, brought, brought, brought is V3. Invite, invited, invited, invited is V3. Speak, spoke, spoken, spoken is V3. Sing, sang, sung, sung is V3. You should have the list of verb number 3 and how you have to use. There are some, see, I have told, he has told, she has told, I have come, she has come. You can use some names, like for example, today I have come, then Chetan has come, Gauri has come, Rashid has come, Anupama has come, Rafiq has come, Aruna has come, Sir has come, Madam has come, Clerk has come, HR has come, anything you can say. I have, we have, you have, they have, but he has, she has, it has. For example, it means the bus has come. The parcel has come. The courier boy has come. The train has left. Are you getting my point? So please use these has and have with three carefully by using the list of verb number three by practicing it very well. You can just go on saying. Do not use we do for have and has. Like for example, some say I have went, she has came wrong sentence. She has come. I have gone. This is how you use has and have with V3 for completed actions at present. Some examples we can see. For example, today I have eaten dosa.
for her breakfast. She has eaten upitto. He has eaten idli and vada. Are you getting a point? So whatever you have completed at present, you will use. I have done. I have completed. I have participated. I have submitted. She has gone. She has come. She has told me. She has invited. Something like this. So for this, what you need is more practice and more practice. And the practice leads to your confidence. When you are confident, your English becomes very sweet. I hope this topic is clear. Okay. I'll come in the next session with the continued part of has and have. How it can be used for one more purpose. So till then, I wish you all the best. Have a good practice of this. Watch the video repeatedly to understand the concept and then make list of sentences. Okay? Do well. Thank you.